Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're having a really, really good day. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can link and split off the Discord audio through your Go XLR. So literally all we're doing is splitting off the chat line so that we can fade up the chat that we hear. And obviously that then goes into your stream mix as well. You can basically control how loud or quiet or you can mute off the chat audio from Discord or whatever device. And then of course, just have a better level of control over what your stream is also going to be hearing as well. In the video, I'll show you exactly how you can do that and i'll also show you some extra tidbits of information that will just help you fine tune and tweak that on top of that as well if you are at a stage where you're just setting up your go xlr in general terms like hardware setup music setup splitting off your spotify things like that check the links in the description below once you've finished this video because there's some other videos that i've done on go xlr if you want to make the best of your discord there's a load of other discord videos i've done as well this is just specifically to improve your discord channel for example integrating twitch subscriber roles and things like that. As always, feel free to like the video. I'd certainly appreciate that if you do. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, feel free to hang out with me. Come ask me any questions or just, you know, just generally cause some havoc on my stream. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so here we've got the Go XLR and we've also got the Discord channel here. First of all, we want to be going into our sound settings, right clicking on the speaker icon, open the sound settings. As per the setup video linked in the description below, you'll more than likely have the system as your output device by default and you'll have your line in if you've got a wireless or your chat mic if you've not got a wireless uh, headset, if it's a wired headset. But we can also go to the sound control panel. We want to make sure that chat is the default communications device. So we're channeling any communications from the microphone to the chat channel or the chat line, as it were, which is obviously a TC Helicon line. These lines here have been created by the hardware and the software for TC Helicon for the Go XLR. And then you'll more than likely have the default device as the system here. And you can change this by right clicking and basically set as, and in this case, I can change the default device to the default comms device, but you get the gist. You may also just want to check the recording tab as well. I've got mine set to the line in because I'm using a wired headset. And as part of this, on the properties, I've gone to listen and I've set my headset, my wireless headset to be the device. But again, more on that in the link in the description below to check out how to set up a wireless headset. And then you've got the chat mic for the default communications device. So the chat microphone is the default comms device on recordings as well. And then we go into the GoXLR here. What we've done is we've linked our default device for comms and also for sound outputs to be channel two and the voice chat. And then we've basically able to link this channel to the fader. Now all that's left to do really is to link discord to those channels this fader will fade up and down those channels and obviously if we click mute it would mute those channels within discord what we now need to do and this is the final step is we click on user settings we click on voice and video we want to map here the chat microphone to the input device you can leave it as default if you've set it up properly but sometimes doing that sometimes there can be changes when you plug devices in and things like that and unplug devices so normally it's best to specifically map what you want here the chat mic is the default input device which will set this microphone and therefore your microphone fader will control the level there and then the output device which is what's being output to the hearing is the chat here and that then outputs to this and allows this fader to control chat level coming from discord or of course to mute it once you've done that you can x off and that should all now work and you can control the chat level using the faders or mute it with the mute button some other just minor nuances here okay to test the level of your own microphone volume you can actually click within the routing section of the go xlr app to route your your microphone through your headphones. If you click this, you will hear your own chat. And of course, as long as the chat input is routed through the headphones, you will also hear the Discord chat coming through as well. If this isn't checked, you will not hear it through your headphones. You do need to check that this is checked. <laughs> but also, if you want your stream to hear Discord as well, you would check this here. If you don't want the stream to hear your Discord chat, obviously you can mute and deafen within Discord itself, which can stop your stream from doing it, but that also affects you. Within this application, with the GoXLR application, you can turn off on the broadcast stream mix for chat to be able to be heard by your stream and that just gives you an option on the fly to be able to do that the final thing on the mixer if you find that the chat for you is too loud even though your chat might be saying that they can't hear people talking this could be an issue with your own headset volume so even though 
you might be able to hear them right. It might, in other words, your volume is actually quite high. Your stream might not be able to hear. So this is definitely an indication that your headset volume isn't at the right level. If you find that you can hear them perfectly, but your stream cannot hear them perfectly, obviously, if you turn up the chat volume on the main fader, that will turn it up for you as well as your stream. So that's like a master chat volume on the fader here. You could just turn your own headset volume down a little bit and the chat up a little bit here, which will mean the volume will come down for you, but up for it for you and your chat. And that'll just equalize that balance. The reverse is true also. If you find that it's too quiet for you, but the stream is saying it's too loud, you need to turn your own headset volume up within this mixer here. Hopefully that makes sense and does help some people. So there you have it, how you can easily set up Discord faders and control the audio levels within your own headset. Just improve things for your stream. If you found this useful, once again, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful, wonderful day.